graphing equations and two variables. Ordered pairs are used to express the solutions. Uh, so 3, 6 is the solution of the equation 2x minus y equals 0, since when you substitute 3 in place of the x and 6 in place of the y, you get a true equation. So if I put a 3 here, which would mean 2 times 3, and then I evaluate it 6 for y, then I would get 2 times 3 is 6, minus 6, which is 0, and it checks. So that makes it a true statement. So we're asked to find uh, three ordered pairs that are solution. So I can just say, well, let's let x equal 0. Okay, so I would say y equals 4, and in place of x right here, I'm going to substitute 0 in. So y equals 0 minus 2, so y equals negative 2. So when x was 0, right here, y was negative 2. This is going to be one solution to uh, our equation given in A. Let's do another one because they want 3. Let's just let these be easy. That'd be x equal 1. So y equals 4 times in place of x, put 1 y is equal to 4 minus 2, y is equal to 2. So when x was 1, y is 2. And we're going to do one more. Let's let x equal 2. y equals 4. Everywhere there's an x in your original equation, substitute in. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So when x was 2, y is 6. All three of these will be solutions to the given equation in A. In B, let's do the same thing. Let's let let's do easy ones. Let's let x equal 0 because we can choose x to be anything we want. So y equals 0 squared minus 3. So y equals 0 minus 3 y equals negative 3. So when x was 0, y is negative 3. Let's do when we let x equals 1 this time. So y equals 1 squared minus 3. 1 squared is 1. So y equals negative 2. When x is 1, y is negative 2. And for our last one, let's just do 2 y equals 2 squared minus 3, y equals 4, when x is 2, y is 1. And that's all three uh, order pairs or solutions to the given equation. All right, by using the method we just did, by plotting ordered pairs that are solutions to the equation, if I would have graphed all those solutions I got, I would end up with a graph of the original equation. The intercepts specifically are the, where the ordered pair solutions fall on the x-axis is the x-intercept, and the y-axis is the y-intercept. And usually the intercepts are good points to plot first. The x-intercept... Um, to find the x-intercept, we let y equal 0 and solve. And then to find the y-intercept, we let x equal 0 and solve. So a helpful hint is when graphing equations by plotting points, find the intercepts and then in many additional ordered pairs as needed to complete the graph. So we're going to do that over here. We're going to find our x-intercept, y-intercept, and just pick any random third intercept to get a graph. All right, so let's do our to find um, our x-intercept. We're going to let y equal zero. Okay. For our x-intercept, we let y equal zero and solve. So that means over here, we're going to let y equal zero. And then we solve this thing for x. So we would get negative three is equal to negative x. Divide both sides by negative 1, and we get positive 3 is equal to x. And that will be our x-intercept, so it's where it crosses the x-axis. 
right here. That's our x-axis and our y-axis labeled. Okay. Next, we want to find our y-intercept because we're practicing using intercepts to find find our y-intercept. That's when we let x equal zero and solve. So it's say y equals negative. Let's let x equal zero. Y is equal to three. So when x was zero, y is three. That's going to be our y-intercept here and Technically, that's all you need is two points to graph a line in my math lab. But let's just pick a third point just for the practice of it. We'll just pick um, something rather easy. So let's do one. Let's let x equal one. So y equals negative one plus three. Y equals two. So the ordered pair one. Two, and we can see that that falls on our graph and then we would just draw a line through it and that would give us the graph of the equation y equals negative x plus 3. Okay, y equals square root of x minus 2. Let's find our x-intercept first by letting y equal 0. So I'm going to let y equal 0. So 0 is equal to square root of x minus 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So we get 2 is equal to square root of x. Now the way we undo a square root is to square. So we're going to do that to both sides. So we get 4 is equal to now a square undoes a square root. So we would get 4. Let's go over to our 4, 0. That's going to be our x-intercept. Now we're going to erase this work, and this time we're going to find our y-intercept. And to do that, we let x equal 0. Let's let x equal 0. So we would have y is equal to the square root of 0 minus 2. So that is just going to be square root of 0. 0 gives us negative 2. So 0, negative 2 is right here, and that's our y-intercept. And then let's just pick, um, let's just do one that's easy. And it's not an intercept, it's just a point. So I would say y is equal to the square root of 1 minus 2. So the square root of 1 is just 1. y equals negative 1. So 1, negative 1. And our graph looks like this. Okay, a little bit later you'll learn some more about parent graphs and know that... Um, y equals the absolute value of x that the shape of the graph looks like uh, um, that shape in some form of another whether it be wide or fat or flipped um, shift to translate it to the left or to the right or up or down but anyway for the purpose of just graphing we can plot points and get um, graphs so we're just going to do very specific because we're practicing with our x and y intercepts so we're going to let um, to find the x-intercept, we let y equal 0. And so that's going to be um, 0 is equal to the absolute value of x plus 1. Now because the absolute value of x plus 1 is just, absolute value is always positive, so it comes out as positive x plus 1. And then we solve this thing for x, we will get negative 1 is equal to x. So negative 1, 0 is here. The next thing we're going to do is find um, our y-intercept by letting x equal 0. So I'll get y is equal to 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1 and then the absolute value of 1 is 1. So when x was 0, y is 1. Okay, and let's um one, two, let's check one. 
we're going to substitute the m for 1. So y is equal to the absolute value of 1 plus 1. Y is equal to absolute value of 2, which is just 2. So it's the ordered pair 1, 2. Now I know that thing's supposed to be the shape of a V, but um, let's just for just for the purpose, um, we're going to do negative 2. Just let, add one extra point into it just so you can see that eventually you'll get the shape of your graph. But that later you'll learn a little bit more about parent graphs and knowing what to expect. For now, you're just asked to plug in points, um, take note of your x-intercepts and y-intercepts, and know that all of these are solutions to the equation. So you'll learn more about this as we go along. But for now, let's go ahead and substitute a negative 2 in just for the sake of it. So y equals absolute value of negative 2 plus 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is just positive 1. So negative 2, positive 1. And you can see that we will then take on the shape of an absolute value.